Hey guys, so welcome back. Today I'm doing a little bit of a challenge. I have no bait because I went to get fiddler crabs. Nobody has fiddler crabs right now. So if you know somebody that does, a bait shop that does, please put that in the description below. Uh, so that way others know where to grab some fiddler crabs right now. So I'm gonna go out here and do a little challenge. I'm gonna go out, catch my own bait, which are mangrove crabs. I'm gonna drop those down, see if I can catch some sheep's head. And then, um, yeah, because I have a really short window today and it's really windy. And so I'm going to try to get into a secluded place and um, take care of business. So hang tight, guys. Huh. I might have to change it up guys I might have to go dig for some mud crabs or something because I don't see a single mangrove crab not one I think that's what I'm gonna have to do I'm gonna have to go search for some mud crabs I have not seen a single mangrove crab so i'm gonna have to search for some mud crabs to get the job done so hopefully i can do that because that was not the plan but plans are made to be adjusted sometimes it doesn't always work out thing with this guys you want to make sure that you put the stuff back as much as you can so that way they can get into their habitat oh come here buddy oh yeah oh yeah look at that big old sucker I see you oh yeah Sometimes you have to look inside the, uh, inside of here. Kind of want to wash them off. I'm gonna make sure it's not a stone crab. There's no stripes on the legs, so I'm good. That's a mud crab. They're moving slow because they're hibernating. Ooh wee! Get on in there. All right, we actually have a couple of larger ones in there, guys, and we're gonna cut those bad mama jammas up. All right, pretty satisfied with that. Let me stick my cup right here so I don't lose it. I'm gonna try this Ned rig because I was catching fish with it last week and so I'm gonna grab one of these smaller mud crabs so I'm gonna take one of these mud crabs and I'm gonna drop it on there it's gonna go up through the underside and out the side just like that I'm gonna try right in here real quick Right on the outside of it. Can't go inside, but I can toss in there though. All right. 
I gotta switch hooks because I'm getting robbed too many times. All right, so I put on a number one. I don't have any. Actually, I have a one. This is a one ot hook. I don't have any more number one. So um, that and a little small split shot. Now I'm gonna drop one of these crabs down here. I only have a few left of the smaller ones. I got a bunch of the big ones. I have two big ones, but not many smaller ones. Oh my gosh, this thing is strong. Boy, if he gets a hold of me, I'm gonna be hurting. I mean, he's got a hold of this. That's the one I was trying to get. Let go. Let's go up here. Wee! Was well, not expecting the wind to be like that. There we go. Oh, it's a nice sheep's head too. Oh yeah. All right, first one guys. And I believe it's a keeper. Oh yeah, he's a keeper. We're gonna see though. If he is, he's like right at, right at 12. But, we did catch one so that's the thing we wanted to see if we can catch our own bait and then get a fish off of it so that's what we did we caught our own bait and got one sheep's head at least one so that's good to see like i said i think he's like right at 12 but if he is he's getting he's getting kept getting in the box and like i said if he is 12 well it's almost 13 almost 13 so he's going in the box because i want to see if i can get a couple more over here all right guys that's it so it was good to switch up hooks and also switch to my other spot. So these are octopus circle hooks. So they work really well, guys, really well. First one. All right, thank you, Lord. Let's see if we can repeat that. So the object was not to get too close, but I'm throwing close to Oh, not there, but dropping it down in there. Once it hit the bottom, just raised up the slack and um, he was on there. Got me already. I felt it. So guys, 
I was thinking when we were out earlier, um, we were just praying for people's hearts and that, you know, people would, especially nowadays, just get to know the God of all creation. And we want everybody saved. Uh, God does too. He said he wished that all men would be saved. And so Romans 10, 9 and 10 uh, says, because if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. For with the heart one believes and is justified and with the mouth one confesses and is saved. And so that is my prayer that everyone will confess with their mouth and believe in the heart that Jesus Christ is Lord. So um, salvation is a free gift to each one of us. You just have to take it, guys. And so today is your day. Take that choice. All right. Let's get back to fishing. All right, we got this chunk here. Try to thread it through the meat. Right. Hopefully we can get another sheep's head. One a little bit bigger. Oh shoot, he was on there. Oh my gosh. That fish was on there. Let me see if I can get a claw on there. Now you want to start pulling. No, I don't know. That was caught on a claw. I don't know. If so, he's going to be barely as well. But that was on a claw. That sucker is 12 and a half inches. They're not big, but it's good for free bait. They like it. They like the mud crabs. They like the mud crabs. I just cracked the claw that time and threw it out and it worked. All right guys, so that goes to show you that you can get out. You don't have to have buy your own bait. You can turn over some rocks and uh, get some mud crabs. And so the bigger they are, you can cut those things in half and they chomp on them. So there it is. Um, I didn't catch a lot, but I wasn't out here long, you know, but I did catch something. So I got seven total mud crabs. I lost two fish, but I have two fish in the cooler. So not too bad for seven mud crabs. What, what can you say? And I was out here for a couple of hours. So, like I said, guys, just get out there and do the work. Just get out there and dig a little bit. Wherever the um, the soil, um, you know that there's that hard shell and uh, oysters and stuff that are around and rocks, just turn those things over and you can grab your own mud crabs. Now, you do have to check to make sure that they don't have stripes on their legs because if they have stripes on their legs, more than likely, those are stone crabs. You get caught with a stone crab, that's a fine, big time. If you have any questions, just hit me up in the comments below. All right? And so I really appreciate you guys hanging with me. And then do me a favor, like this video, share my channel, and then subscribe if you haven't done so already. And until next time, remember God loves you. God bless you, may he keep you. 
Peace.